How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories. Which way? This one? can hardly tell. There have been strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the spectre of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. You're not afraid, are you? I'm eager to begin. Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Come on. Here now. Shall we? Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic, his only connection to the rest of the world a tiny hole in the door. Reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. A sudden draft. Nothing more. My word, perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. Why were you at that house? Like What's it to you? Okay. Out with it. Right, all right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? I found a lock 
but I haven't located the key. It's here. So this is how it works. Impressive. Love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square. Just a wretched soul, driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. 